what we call experience, the young generation call a chain of mistakes. To fight for what you think is right. In his first term, there were decisions of literally life and death that had to be made to save Central America from destroying itself. We were refugees, homeless. We became now fighters. That is a leader. I mean, this is a man who knows what he wants. He's leading, no matter what Israel price. The first Palestinian to recognize the state of Israel. The steady scream of ambulance sirens. People started to shout, kill him, murder him. Look what he did to us. It's because of you. I stood stunned. What can I say? Everything he does is for the state of Israel. And to hear these words is like a knife in the heart. Here was his chance to transcend, not only as a man who brought peace, but a man who modernized the country. And he was not able to achieve that. Go to a wedding, he wants to be the bride. He goes to a funeral, he wants to be the dead. For the new generation, he's a thing of the past. To exercise leadership and moral values, to save life from time to time, you have to risk life. He made a lot of favors and he gave a lot of money to other people where he corrupted them. But how do you define corruption? You didn't want personal gain, but he allowed people to use the system for personal gain and he used them. You are not elected to please people. The biggest project connected to him is the settlements project. This land here was purchased by Jews in 1807. Which for sure is not an achievement. The president could have made a hell of a difference. Because who, who would say no to Mr. World, Shimon Peres? I never thought that I'm doing something on purpose, which is wrong. I didn't give my children the time they deserved. I divorced the mother of my children, a woman I loved. Look, to be honest, I think the most interesting thing in life is to work. He got married with me and he had a daughter, but he was married to the coach. And next stage, we will see.